Hello Scorpio, welcome back to my channel y'all. How are you? It's so good to have you back. I am so happy to have you here. I just want to go ahead and say thank you so much to all of you um, who are present, who have donated to the channel. Thank you all of you who come in here with such a beautiful vibe. I love my Scorpios. You have no idea. I love you guys. I love your presence. I love your energy. And most of all, I am so loving who you are and who you're becoming. Your energy this month feels so light, Scorpio. I don't know. There's something beautiful happening to your energies. I feel collectively, the Scorpio, you're moving through this, this sunrise. You know, it's like I'm having a vision of the sun. You are beaming. You are illuminating these beautiful, beautiful aspects of your heart that has been maybe hidden or closed. Speaking of, before we get into it, for those of you who are new, welcome. I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with the channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium and I do offer mediumship based readings. Those are priced down below. Also, I do offer um, Reiki uh, healing sessions via my Instagram story if you guys would love to be a part of it. Also, I do offer giveaway sessions as well. Excuse me. I do offer... I am offering a giveaway session right now, so please take a look at my uh, my Instagram, you guys. I have pick a card readings. I have a bunch of cool stuff on there, spiritual tips as we move along our journey. So, wow, okay. Scorpio, I, speaking of power, okay, I am seeing the sun god Ra here, yes, the sun god Ra, a lot of you guys have the power of the sun, you guys have the masculine energy of Yang right now, and I am feeling that a lot of you, if you are working with Egyptian deities, this is a deity to work with because he is illuminating your power, he's gifting you a very big, big, big golden orb it's like you are being gifted the power of manifesting whatever you desire right now use this wisely Scorpio so let's see we have charity and trust Scorpio yes as we move into the end of the month I am getting a lot of you know there's a lot of affection coming in from your community a lot of you guys are gifting people um, your services, you're gifting people love, you're gifting people your knowledge, your wisdom. The blues are about teaching. Some of you guys are becoming teachers. Wow. Some of you guys are just, you're really stepping into a platform of loving the community, loving humanity, or you're doing something where you're going to be healing others, okay? Blue for me is always about a healing aspect of yourself. You guys are natural healers by birth, okay? So you're naturally very, very in tune with your healing abilities. You guys know how to resurrect energies that you need to kind of heal, um, you guys are not afraid of sitting in the fire, if you know what I mean, okay? Um, a lot of you guys are going to be investing in humanity or humanitarian work, okay, which is very beautiful. So what's happening in your life, Scorpio? We have give it time. You guys are working on a project right now that is going to involve a lot of uh, empowerment. It's going to involve self-improvement. It's going to involve uh, feeling empowered, feeling good about where you are in life, okay? Yellow is all about that solar plexus energy, yeah? Wow, okay. We do have me, myself, and I. Hello, welcome to starting your own business. Some of you guys are starting your own empire. You are starting something completely brand new. You are beginning a new journey, okay? You are embarking on a journey of I, this isn't so much about being selfish, Scorpio. This is more about um, you're okay with starting something on your own or you're finally detaching from influences that are no longer serving you. You're letting go of this expectation of needing to be something. You're going to take a chance at your own makeup line, your own, I'm getting a perfume, skincare, clothing. You want to do something very big for yourself 
this year. I am getting the year of the ox is going to be very good for Scorpio in terms of career and investments. Okay. So we do have wisdom. Yes, you are taking wisdom a lot of what you've learned throughout life and you're going to gift it to humanity, the collective. You are gifting your charm, your presence and whatever it is that you know. Okay. You're going to gift it to the world. You guys have some sacred knowledge or wisdom that you're holding on to that you are going to be sharing it with the world around, which is very fantastic. It's beautiful. So let's go ahead and see. Okay, Scorpio in love. Excuse me, general energies for Scorpio. Some of you guys have a totem. Wow. I'm having a vision of a beautiful white hawk. You guys might want to look into that, what it means. A white hawk. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, this is so symbolic of vision of your future of your focus of where you're headed exactly the eight of pentacles this is exactly what i'm seeing you guys are so focused at the end of the month my loves you guys have something down and you really want to manifest it you really want to get it going you really want to move forward with it i am feeling that a big part of this is also about slow build you guys are working on your abundance and it's working i'm getting something huge like a huge article a blog it could be a book it could be an empire there's something big you're taking risks at the end of the month with you know airy season and full effect we have the five of wands in reverse some of you guys have been in a very um, competitive environment Okay, it's been very competitive. And so what I see for you here is that a lot of you guys are releasing this competition. You guys are, it's like you're letting go of a lot of this um, frustration and you're saying, you know what? Like, I want to invite something new into my life. You're saying, you know, I, I think I want to work by myself, right? I think I want to work alone. I'm ready to take something on in terms of an, of an entrepreneurship, something very beautiful. You're choosing, you're choosing a different path. And a big part of it is you've been around a lot of conflict. You've been around a lot of, you know, competition. You've been around a lot of like negativity in your life. And now you're saying, well, I think I'm ready to embark on my own journey. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Okay. Okay, something recently fell apart with maybe a friend, maybe you guys had a friend here, okay, that maybe, um, or a group of friends that you guys were working with or a collaboration, it did not go well for many reasons. It did not go well because a lot of you have this itch to step out into your own zone. You are ready to shine on your own. It's like, you know, Scorpio, you want your own platform. This could even be within the own, you know, your own work environment. Some of you guys want to collaborate with people and you just want want to start something completely new, even though you have a thriving business with others, right? You may have a beautiful thriving business with others. You may have everything set. People love you, but guess what? You guys are like, I felt betrayed. I felt a loss at something. Something didn't really turn out right. And now I don't want it. Now you guys are like, I don't want to deal, right? So this is huge because if you have been waiting for an entrepreneurship, if you have been waiting for, um, you know, a leap of faith or a position in life to step forward on your own, it's happening. Especially if you guys have a Scorpio moon, it's happening for you. Okay. You have to trust the process. Doing this alone is not as big as you think it is. Okay. It's actually very fortunate. Good luck. I love it. What else is happening for you, Scorpio? March 15th through the 31st. Okay, we have the two of wands. Okay, yes. Expansion. So we have a lot of growth. We have a lot of moving forward. We have a lot of expanding, taking on a new path. You guys are saying, yes, I have this set, but I want more. And you guys are really, really, really fine tuning what it is that you want. I want more. So 
the world is your oyster, my loves. You guys are venturing off and you're saying, how else can I make myself abundant and my legacy? This is beautiful. Some of you guys are going to travel to foreign lands. I am getting East Asia or Asia for something very specific, okay? Or you're going to just decide to take on a new practice in terms of business, which is going to make you very abundant. Something You're learning something from a different foreign land, maybe Mayan cultures. You're taking this upon yourself to really expand your knowledge, okay? So general, we do have the Four of Cups in reverse. You are seeing the opportunities everywhere, Scorpio. Everywhere you see or everywhere you look, there's an opportunity, okay? You guys are taking it upon yourselves and you're saying, yes, I see an opportunity. I see what it is that I need to do for myself, okay? This is beautiful. This is why you're going to become abundant. Wow. Two of swords. Do not let your fears eat at you. Some of you have a scholarship or um, there's a position being granted, something, you know, moving abroad, you're doing something. It's a gift from the creator, my loves. Don't let fear blind you. Don't let fear get a hold of you. You guys are on path right now. You have to make a choice. Maybe there's a fear of, of doing something wrong or taking the wrong path. Okay, let's see. Scorpio. Wow. Some of you guys are working with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and this is a part of the energy that I'm feeling that this person, it's almost like Scorpio. You feel as if they are not meeting you halfway. They're not fair. They're not gifting you a platform or they're just not giving you space in this business. Some of you guys are dealing with a friend who's very envious or you are, you know, maybe there's a little bit of some conflict around money with your partnerships, with your business, you know, your business people, your coworkers, but specifically in earth energy, Scorpio, you guys are dealing with someone who is a little bit cruel. Okay. If this is not a purse, excuse me, um, an earth sign. This is someone, this is someone in your environment who's embodying some kind of cruelty around money. Like this is all they want. Their focus is money and what they can get out of it. Okay. You definitely want to be careful for fraudulent behaviors around your friends. Okay. Um, this person feels like they are out to get it for themselves. So please do not fall into a trap where you are, you know, uh, staying friends or staying loyal. Easier said than done to people who are not gifting you respect. Okay. So what's going on in love, Scorpio? Let's see what I can see for Scorpio in love. Wow. I'm having a vision of Pluto. So for me, this is about eighth house. Some of you guys are meeting someone that you have a very passionate connection to, someone that you've had a past life energy to, someone that you've had several incarnations with. Okay. So very symbolic here with the strength card, a Leo with that infinity energy. You guys are choosing to hold on to your heart though. So this is a very passionate um, energy. This is a very physical connection. This is something that is incredibly um, it's teaching you how to illuminate your heart again. This person is coming in. There's going to be a power struggle here around a Leo Sag Aries for some, this is a Gemini. I'm getting Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. I keep hearing my spirit guide say Gemini. But there's something about a power struggle here, my loves. This could also be a Virgo. But love for you is about what is worth fighting for here. We have choose your battles, right? We have how can you choose your battles a little bit better? Scorpio in love. We have the hanged man in reverse.
this situation that's coming in at the end of the month, there's a sacrifice to be made. And some of you guys were feeling a little bit bound to it. And now you're, you're letting go. You're going to let go because you don't feel like it's worth feeling trapped when it comes to this. Okay. So I am getting a connection here that you are unhooking yourself from. This is about setting yourself free. Some of you are starting over with a new love at the end of the month. Yes. As I said that, the full card, you guys. Oh, yes. Yes, the full card. Oh, you guys. Okay. Um, you guys are dealing with a situation where you're going to start over, but this has been hard. It's been hard on you because you are so in love with the person that you were dealing with, or there's such a power struggle with this person and you're so tired of, it's like you're, you're pulling rope. You know, you are pulling rope with this person. And a lot of you guys are saying, I'm so sick of it. I don't want to pull rope anymore. Right? Where, where is it? Where, where, where do I draw the line? So Scorpio in love. Yes. Yes. At the end of the month, please be aware of who you're letting into your energy, Scorpio, because I do see some narcissistic behavior here. There's some power. This is about power in your relationships and love. This is about someone wanting power over you, wanting power over the situation. And a lot of you guys are like, It's like winner or loser. So what is worth it to you, Scorpio? Who, what is worth it? It's like someone here wants the last say. Someone here wants the last say so. Is it worth destroying your, your identity or who you are to go back to this person? This is more about their ego, honey, because this is like, uh-uh, no. I'm getting someone who really destroyed your self-esteem. Do you want this again? The Nine of Swords in reverse. Allow love to heal. Allow love to heal you, Scorpio. Allow it to heal you because there is a lot of energy here resurfacing. A lot of X's resurfacing, but specifically one X resurfacing, okay? So we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Wow. Let go of what hurts, you guys. Let go of the pain, okay? Let go. Okay, Scorpio in love. Let's see. We have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. There's someone who's going to give you a gift from the past. This person off and on, off and on. It looks beautiful on the outside, but when you open it, there's an empty promise. Let go of people who are not loving you, my loves. You deserve love. Let go of the weight. Let go of carrying everybody else's karma. Okay? You are all deserving of love, but this situation is going to drain you if you guys go back to it. Because it's a gift that looks beautiful on the outside, but when you open it, Scorpio, this connection, this box is empty. So, I really feel a lot of you guys are going to be a witness to your healing process this month, but if you allow it. There is a love, I'm getting specifically a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a love that was very meaningful to you that is trying to come back in. But again, this person, no matter how much they try to come back in, if they haven't healed themselves, what is the point? If they cannot heal who they are, what is the point? So what is your advice in love, Scorpio? create structure around love. Some of you guys are trying to figure out what love is, family, you want to establish roots. 
like your ancestors are all over this. They're saying, create a family with wisdom. You know, use the wisdom that you've learned here. We have sage wisdom, exactly. Use the wisdom that you've learned to bring you balance, to create a life of your own, a family, okay? Because if you can't do that, or if you don't do that, yeah, there's going to feel like a lack. Your advice is to focus on what is going to bring you legacy, what is going to bring you abundance, and what is going to bring you long-term energy. A lot of my Scorpios are ready for a heartfelt connection. What is your advice? love just love you guys the advice here is to build relationships that are going to be long lasting don't focus on short term right now short term will only give you a boost but it's not going to really bring you wealth okay so we do have the seven of swords for you um scorpio what, what's the outcome wow what's the outcome for you scorpio and love um There's a temptation here, you guys. I don't know. I really want you to be careful, um, specifically for an Aquarius or a Sag, a fire and, and, and air, specifically. There is someone new coming in trying to establish new order in your life. It could be an earth sign. I'm getting three different elements. I, hopefully one of them resonates. But the outcome here and the advice, it's like, don't go chasing waterfalls and I don't want no scrubs, TLC. Don't go back to this double energy that is pulling from your unhappy. It's like pulling from your happiness and you guys are trying to rise. You guys are trying to elevate your energies. Don't keep pulling on something that doesn't feel good to your esteem because when you go back to this what this person is doing they're feeding off your insecurity and then they latch on to you and then it becomes parasitic because they don't want to leave and then it cycles you back into a codependent relationship Scorpio don't do it my loves okay I love you and I hope you guys are well Mwah. comment below bye